Hello everybody and welcome back to Chaos SP. Last time we worked on the barn and the field behind it so that Postman and Zippy would have a home and a couple of friends. Today I need to finish up my starter area, which means I really need to do an interior. I probably need to do the roads I was planning to connect ever to connect my base over to the other areas and let people continue those on and maybe help people clean up some not some ugly things that they have done like that portal to the nether roof but we're going to get started with the interior and it's definitely not a great thing to time lapse or anything so it's just going to be done when we get back. Alright, and the interior is done. Ring my doorbell. Open the door. We come in here. We've got some painting, some lighting, you can see. A nice seating area. We've taken advantage of some of the pottery shards I've gone and collected. The first armor, of course, traditionally saved and put on an armor stand. Get a cute little kitchen area here. Although that's creating a lot of smoke in that one area. But we got a cute little kitchen. Taking up a little mantelpiece that there's no, no way to put anything on because the, the this is a half slab area above me so that I could have a different roof from floor or a different ceiling from floor. We come upstairs, we got a little desk, we got some more bookshelves, a bed, a couple more pots. This one actually has the capability of decorating some. We still get our nice views out our windows up here. So it's just a cute little interior, actually. I definitely reevaluating this build, this should have been Instead of a three wide, it should have been a one wide fireplace for this space. It was definitely a little too ambitious on that. But we live, we learn. Now, I've been talking about doing roads in my area, but I definitely get distracted. I found a banner pattern online that I enjoy, and I've been working collecting all the things needed for it. But the one thing I still need is the creeper head banner pattern. So, in order to get that, I need a trident. Because even though we have the head mod, it doesn't provide a new way to get the base 3 head that you can get in vanilla Minecraft. So, to get a trident, I need a farm. And so that's what we're going to work on now. I have found a design I'm going to use. The creator will be tagged and linked to their video in the comments. So go check that out if you're needing a trident farm yourself. Uh, I've gathered all the resources over in that area. So we're going to run over there and put it together now. All right, guys, as you can see, the farm is done. Uh, there's not going to be the time lapse I had planned of it because despite my best efforts, I cannot get it to look good. I tried and I could not get the time lapse of this thing to actually function well. Probably because I'm still learning, but if you want to see how it's built, the, again, there will be a link in the description to the video I you to the design I used. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at it here in spectator mode though. So if you come around here, you can see now we just have a giant pillar into the sky with a ladder to get up it so that we don't have to deal with anything spawning on the ground. We have a standard kill chamber in here. Uh, you know, drop onto the half slab on the hoppers. It is a 26-ish block drop. I think I raised it up one from what the video design was because there was a, 
about half the time the drown would hit and die. Well, not half the time, but the drown were hitting and dying on that. And so I left it as it. Uh, up here, we just have a standard water channel funnel where it pushes them into a, the, it pushes them from the sides into the central, into the central channels, which push them into the hole. Uh, just above that, we have a massive amount of signs, which were the worst part of placing all this so that the water from the spawning chamber above doesn't mess with the drowned here uh, with the water here to push the drown into the kill pit and then if you come up it's just a massive spawning chamber up here where drown can spawn all the way up here will eventually float down into into the below the signs and then get pushed into the kill chamber and you come up top it's just a half slab roof to make everything dark and not spawn up there uh so now we will just be waiting for the for a thunderstorm so we can get that and we're gonna find some other things to do around the base to help fill up this episode i will get back to you guys when i've got something going all right since we couldn't get the time lapse to the train farm in i decided we're going to put in working on the roads uh since we were last over here a beacon's gone in a fountain has gone in to kind of decorate it and keep us from having just you know a beacon piled up in the center of the spawn area i've already gone through and kind of laid out where i want it to be i'm not going to leave those regular tough bricks but i am going to kind of use the same palette that i did for the bridge crossing so i'm going to go ahead we'll be tearing out all that tough and laying down uh better it's still gonna to be tough it's just gonna be you know the new fancy tough blocks as we go so we're gonna jump into that right now
guys. That's going to be all the time we have today. Uh, this episode is extremely late getting out. Thanks to all the trouble I had getting the, uh, trying to get the trident farm up. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll see everyone again next time and have a great day.